In this video, I'm going to show you how to add chapter markers to a QuickTime movie. Here's my movie. Double click on it. Opens up QuickTime. I have uh, four shots, color bars, blue, gray, and green. I'm going to come up to Window and turn on Movie Inspector. I'm going to go back and add a chapter marker right where it changes. Slide along. Now, this is really hard to get my first frame, so I'm going to use the arrows on the keyboard. The arrows on the keyboard going forward, I'm toggling back and forth. First frame is there. The first frame is at 824. So I'm going to write down 825, and I'll show you why. Watch this number here as I go arrow by arrow to the right. It goes from 824. 827, 830, 834. If you look at it, it's on a scale of 1 to 100. So we want to add one number up. Now we're back over here on blue. There's gray. I'm going to use the arrow to go back. And look at what I did. I put in one black frame. Just to prove to you my theory is right. We're going to come over here and it's at 1725. So we're going to write down 1726 for our chapter start. And the reason we do that is when we're on the black frame, it might come up one frame short because um, the numbers here aren't going up one at a time. They're, going, they're taking the 30 frames a second video and scaling it to 100. Now here's the green. I'm going to use the arrow again and 2505, so I'm going to write down 2506. All right, so we're going to go to Pages. Here's Pages. I have Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3. Real simple. Each chapter has a little carriage return between them, so it's quite simple. I'm going to go to File, Export, click on Plain Text, hit Export. I'm going to call this Chapters, Pages hit export. I'm going to hide pages. I come back to QuickTime, File, Open File. I'm going to open up this chapter pages. It's a text document. I'm going to go to File, <coughs> Export. There's many ways to export it. I'm going to export text to text, and I'm going to export text with descriptors. Under Options, you want this clicked, Show Text, Descriptors and Time, Movie, and we're working on a scale of 1 to 100. For some reason, it should be 30, but, but QuickTime is playing back on a scale of 1 to 100. Hit OK. I'm going to call this Chapters, Pages, Space, QuickTime. Hit Save. I no longer need this file. I'll close it. I'm going to go back over to Pages. I'm going to go to File, Open, Pages, QuickTime, Chapter Pages, QuickTime. And here's the, the, uh, the encoding they made for us. This is where Chapter 1 starts. This is where Chapter 2 starts. This is where Chapter 3 starts. And this is how long the video is. So it's 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 6 seconds. So we're going to say we want Chapter 1 at 8.25. 8.25. Chapter 2, we want at 17.25. I'm sorry, 17.26, because we had to add a frame. Chapter 3, we want to start at 25.06. 25. 06. And the length of the video is at 33.53. Again, I'm going to go to File, Export, Plain Text, Export. It is Chapter Pages, QuickTime, and it's come back through Pages again. And we hit Export. I'm going to hide Pages. Now I'm in QuickTime. Hit File, Open File, Chapter Pages, QuickTime Pages. Double click on it. Hit Edit. Select all, edit, copy. I'm going to close this. Now here we are. We're going to hit edit, select all, edit, add to movie. 
and I made a terrible error. This is something, the most important thing you learned today. It added the chapter markers from the green on down. Instead of starting at zero, because my playhead was not at the beginning, it was on the green, it added from green on down. And you can't even hit undo. If you hit undo and then try to finish this, it just won't work very well. So I'm going to quit this, and I'm going to, I'm going to say don't save. Now I'm going to hit double click on colors again, and it's at the very beginning. So I'm going to hit edit, select all, edit, add to movie. And now we go up to windows, hit properties. I do not have an audio track here because this video is just video. So I'm going to hit video track, and you might be somewhere over here, but you got to hit other settings. All you do is say you want the text track. Click on the cache, and the text track is going to show up on the video. We don't want that, so I hit that. And that's it. I'm going to go to chapter one. Now I'm going to arrow back one frame. That's where the color bars are. I'm going to go to chapter two. We hit our black one frame perfectly. I arrow back one. That's blue. Go to chapter two. Arrow forward. That's gray. That shows you how accurate this is. Go to chapter three. Go back one. That's the end of gray. So these chapters are 100% accurate, dead on, exactly where you want to be. Now, you could click here and hit save. I would not recommend it. Um, let's say you had a real big QuickTime movie and you shrunk it down. And you hit save. Right now, the movie's going to open up at this size with the playhead here. So I always go to view show actual size, put the playhead back at the beginning, and in case I've corrupted this file or something, I'll go to Save As. And instead of calling this Colors, I'm going to go Colors with Chapters. Self-contained movie. Hit Save. Hit Replace. I've already done it once. And that's the way it is. It worked out perfect.